Hi Will, um, we're catching up after three days of training with Windrush. You've just come to the end of the third day. We're here at Pippa Funnels. Um, how have you found it? Yeah, I mean, as ever, it's been a fantastic experience. It's um, been great to get together just before lockdown um, sort of happens. So yeah, it's been, it's been very um, sort of educational. Um, we've had talks from, from, from different sorts of experts in their sort of specific sort of disciplines so we had a, a great chat for example with Nick Burton a dressage judge um, yesterday afternoon uh, we ran through some of our own tests uh, and also well Pippa's test from from last year at Burley um, and uh, Oliver Townend's test from from badminton last year as well sort of le leading tests and it was really interesting to sort of sort of see and hear it from a judge's point of view uh, and sort of what they were why they were giving the marks uh, or that he did um, in, in that instance and sort of what they were kind of looking for from a judge's point of view and it sort of gives us um, some I guess some sort of little ideas into into what the judge sees and I guess how we can sort of squeeze a few more marks from from the um, from the judges and sort of hopefully take that into our performances from from next year but yeah I mean it's as always there's a, a lovely variety of, of things here I mean today we've been here at Pips doing some riding the first couple of days were sort of more educational educational based but um, it's always been very interactive and we've sort of been chatting through things which I think has been great to sort of bounce ideas off the other guys here in the Windrush and sort of Pippa and, and Nick and, and, and people like that so yeah sometimes have to kind of pinch yourself and be like wow I you know I'm really really lucky I've got access to advice from the best possible people and they're literally a phone call away you know they're they're ready to help us with whatever ever we need and they're so genuine with their help you know it's it's not necessarily about how to get it's not how to get to badminton it's how to set goals to get yourself to your main goal you know your, they teach you to think of your five stars. I mean, especially for me, you know, I'm I don't have a horse that is at that level, and the the idea of badminton for me at the moment is a dream, and I've got to make the goals and steps on the way to make it a reality. And they're very very good at kind of talking you through that, um, and also just dealing with owners, dealing with horses. You know how to make a career out of it. You can. It's everyone wants to have six five star horses in their stable, but the reality of it is that that's not going to happen overnight so you've got to find a way to make money as well as kind of better yourself absolutely and like you say it's not just these three days um of training and then you don't see them again for six months these people are on the other end of the phone for you all the time which yeah. is what's so unique and incredible about the Windrush yeah. question foundation yeah, no, it's, it's great. so this morning we came out and we built some cross-country questions in the arena and what was very different is that you were asked to ride them as if you were <laughs> competing cross-country on some we didn't know that before we built them. no <laughs> and you were riding some really lovely billy horses that were feeling very well um and it was very interesting to see how you guys all got on what from today's session with eric what will you take from that and how will you alter your cross-country riding um i think from today it's to trust myself more like be braver um at five star when it's big you have to trust yourself to come around the corner and move up to that distance you can't come around the corner and wait for it you know you've got to make it happen and i think particularly in an arena environment it's quite easy to show to show jump cross country obviously when you get to the bigger show jumping levels you have to attack it as well but it's very you know you want to kind of make it look perfect especially you know when everyone's watching and you've got pip and eric watching you you know you want to do a good job um but it's just getting stuck in it's making it happen you know trusting yourself to move up kind of be you know strong in yourself in your position good on your line um and you know it's your job to guide the horse between the flags and you know the canter the quality of the canter your rhythm your line is much more important than worrying too much about what distance you're on you know if you've got those aspects covered then give or take you know centimeter or two you're going to be pretty spot on so it's just kind of trusting yourself to to get there we did ride some really nice horses thanks to Pippa that put, uh, gave us the opportunity to use our facilities and then Eric came along to sh show us how to build some exercises in the cross country for the cross country um, in, a cro in a show jumping arena and he was really helpful I'm surely I'll go home and take a lot from it and teach my young horses too
out to approach the show jump uh, in the cross country fans and yeah so you built some combinations today and the main focus was not to worry about distances but more to concentrate on the canter that you're riding yeah, it was concentrating in the canter the, the quality of the canter around the turn and then the position of the core the strand on the core and not fiddling too much with the hands You've which been working with some of the best figures in the equestrian world these three days so Eric Winter, William Funnel, Pippa Funnel, Yogi Breisner and then you also um, had a kind of Zoom meeting with AP McCoy yesterday. How was that? Yeah, it was it was awesome. Um, I, I mean, what I would say is we're very fortunate that um, the Windrush Question Foundation have had done a fantastic job in in sort of letting us have access to the best sort of individuals in their sort of disciplines. But yeah, I mean, um, AP is obviously a, a legend uh, and is sort of known not just within racing but across the sort of wider wider public. So yeah, it was very inspirational to hear sort of the journey that he'd been on um, from from when he was sort of 15 years old when he left home, uh, sort of made that sacrifice and went on that journey. Um, obviously, us here we're sort of still very much at the sort of beginning of our of our careers. Uh, we're sort of all really young riders or just out of young riders, sort of trying to make it in the senior world. So it was it was sort of I guess nice in a way, um, reassuring that he, even he said things don't come easily. Um, I think he he said he was when he did his sort of apprenticeship. Um, he basically had sort of one winner over over three years, and and things didn't come like Rome wasn't built in a day, he wasn't sort of an overnight success. Um, and obviously everybody knows sort of with horses, there's, there's loads of ups and downs. So I guess in a way it was almost reassuring to come to hear that from someone that has achieved so much um, and had so much success that actually things weren't all plain sailing. And actually it's about sort of just getting your head down and, and working really hard. And, and I guess sort of making sure that you don't have any regrets Sort of when you come to the end of your career and, and come to retire that you sort of leave no no stone unturned and, and, and really give it your all and then i mean he said that he, he liked to think that he always worked that little bit extra um than, than anybody else and that's that's probably why he was he was more successful than anybody else so it's um yeah it was very motivational and it sort of give us all um quite a lift um sort of going into the winter to make sure that we stay motivated and yeah, make the make the winter sort of period productive in terms of our training and sort of developing ourselves as, as both riders and sort of individuals. What is the most valuable element of your training days with Windrush? Um, I think it's to absorb as much information as I can from guys like this. Um, they all know what they're talking about and we're very, very fortunate to be in this position. So it's just making the most of it. Um, it's the whole it's the whole aspect, you know, there's not really one, I mean, Pip obviously is the highlight of the whole program, um, but there's not really one element of it that's the most important thing t to take on board. It's absorbing everything. It's, you know, watching Pip, why is she the best? Trying to, for me, I try to imitate everything that she does um, and to kind of be as good as her. And I think, you know, it's, and also, it's really great that I'm on uh, the program with lots of other people because you learn so much from watching. So um, a being able to sit and I rode this morning and now I'm going to sit and watch these guys have a lesson on some different horses and it'd be really you know I might learn just as much from kind of what they do. So I think the whole that's the whole thing about the program. It's being in an environment where you can grow, you have advice, you have a support system, um, you can learn from lots and lots of different people, um, and it's kind of then taking that away focusing on it and thinking you know how can I improve in the next session what can I do to work at home until I get there and yeah